I recently read a book called Deep Work by Cal Newport. No, Deep Work isn't a new underwater fitness regime or a fancy yoga pose. It's about diving deep into tasks that matter. It's one of the best books I've read in the past few years, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how Deep Work is crucial for coding and share the top four ways to maximize productivity with Deep Work. What is deep work? Deep work refers to the ability to focus without distraction on a cognitively demanding task. Think of it as entering the zone or a flow state where you're entirely engrossed in the task, producing high quality output. For programming, this can be solving complex problems, writing efficient code, learning a new technology, etc. The opposite of deep work is shallow work, stuff like the endless world of emails, data entry that makes you daydream of being a potato, tending meetings where the biggest decision is donuts versus muffins, etc. Why is deep work so crucial for programmers? Programming requires problem solving in many ways. You need dedicated, undisturbed chunks of time to come up with effective solutions. Also, the only constant in the tech world is change. There are new frameworks, tools, or languages to learn that are popping up all the time. And one of the most important skills to master as a programmer is being able to quickly learn these new technologies. This will keep you up to date and get ahead of others. For example, choosing not to utilize chat GPT or other AI tools is like sticking with a horse and buggy over a car. Four ways to implement deep work as a programmer. Number one, Schedule blocks of time for deep work. During these times, shut off all notifications and dive deep. Stick to the schedule. Number two, embrace boredom. This is my favorite suggestion. When you're waiting for code to compile or run, or even if you're out and about and you're waiting in line at the store, you may be tempted to take out your phone. Avoid this temptation at all costs. Not only will it take you mentally out of what you're doing, but over time it will weaken your ability to concentrate. Rather, if you avoid the temptation, your ability to concentrate will strengthen over time and going deep will be easier for you. Number three, master the art of saying no. Your time is valuable, so guard it. Instead of a meeting or a quick chat, you could be working deeply, which is far more valuable for you and for the team. Asynchronous communication like email is is better because you can respond when you're not working deeply. Number four, reduce social media. It may be difficult to quit entirely, especially if you're still in school or college, but you should not be a social media addict. Set limits for yourself and stick to them. For me personally, I limit myself to about an hour of YouTube daily. Other than that, I hardly use social media. I highly recommend grabbing a copy of Deep Work for yourself as there are many great points Newport makes. Use my affiliate link in the description. It'll help out this channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.